What's going on guys, it's Pixelated and we've got some history to look forward to today. Now most sneaker releases nowadays focus more on like fresh materials, newer tech, colorful collaborations, especially when it comes to collaboration. But we also get the retro OG here and there that makes us feel nostalgic or makes us feel like we're part of the old boys club. Not a good reference, but you get what I mean. In this case, we have a pair of sneakers that are a retro of a sneaker from 35 years ago. You get that, right? That's over three decades ago. The sneakers we're looking at are the Nike Michigan Dunk Highs. It's honestly been the year of the dunk and Nike has been pulling out all the stops by releasing all these fresh new dunk collabs as well as re-releasing coveted retros like these. I remember these releasing in 2016 and I remember that the hype was completely going another direction back then, the ultra boost direction. And so when these released, they actually didn't sell out and they went to the Nike outlets. I remember going to Toronto premium outlets and actually seeing a size 10 and a half and because it was a 10 and a half, I tried it on, it was too big and I didn't cop it. Just a teeny minor regret from the past. Either way, these are re-released and are making the runs. They officially released on September 23rd for 120 US dollars and 160 Canadian dollars here in Canada. You might notice these look a little small. That's because they are. P was able to cop them. I was able to cop a size nine and a half, but they weren't able to make it in time for this review. Don't worry though, P was generous enough to give us an on-foot look at these. The Michigan Dunk High is a sneaker that is inspired by one of the most iconic athletic programs in university sports. And and that is from the University of Michigan, home of the Michigan Wolverines in the NCAA division. These sneakers released alongside the Spartan Green Dunk Highs as well, which were also inspired by a university athletic program in Michigan. Pete was able to cop those too, but we'll get into that in another video. Before we dig any deeper, feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video at any point, hit that subscribe button to support the channel, and hit that noti bell so you can join noti gang and so you don't miss out on future videos. Now while I've never been a big fan of that navy yellow color combo, I've always been aware of the iconic Michigan. Wolverine's colorway and now even own a pair of shoes that resemble that colorway in many ways. That would be the Sakai Blazers in the Snow Beach colorway from last year and that's really what this dunk is all about. Now this is also a perfect sneaker for many fans of the Wolverines because of its identical resemblance to the Air Jordan 1 PEs that were given out to Michigan athletes this year. Those aren't slated for general release potentially ever so this is really the next best thing but before we dig any deeper let's get into the materials. This is a retro so the upper is made of the standard traditional materials. We've got yellow or maybe maze side panels, maze toe box, and maze leather panels that form around the ankle. Then we've got the rest of the toe box, the mudguard portion in Midnight Navy, the lace eyelets in Midnight Navy as well as the laces. The ankle collar is in Midnight Navy and actually flaps out just like the off-white Jordan 1s. We have a navy Nike swoosh running along the mid panels. We've got a maize mesh tongue with Nike branding on the tongue tab. We've got an all white midsole and a navy outsole. When it comes to sizing, I can't give you my personal advice, but from what P said, she thinks you should stick to your true to size. P was able to cop a size five and a half, which is half a size bigger than her true to size. She's a true size five and they definitely fit big, but she said she'll most likely have to go true to size for it to be a good fit. When it comes to comfort, I didn't try them on, but as with any Jordan 1 high or dunk high style shoe, you get a decent amount of support because it's a high but there's no real cushioning tech in the midsole, so expect a regular, decent ride for a pair of casual shoes. Nothing too fancy. Overall, this shoe has a lot of history behind it. It represents one of the most storied athletic programs in the world. So if you're into that, these are for you. It's also been the year of the dunk. So if that's what you're into, these are also for you. They sold out as soon as they went on sale, but they're going for relatively decent prices in the aftermarket. So I've left a link in the description where you can go ahead and get your size if that's something you're interested in. That's all I have for these sneakers. I'll catch you in the next one. Pixelated is a rabid wolverine.